short corner missed by Paul White. Big thing for Baylor is how do they get the ball inside to Tristan Clark? That ball deflected. Here comes Pritchard. My opinion, he's not, doesn't have the same uh, explosiveness that we're used to seeing. Pass down, look at this guy. And one, right right off the, the back. box for Tristan Clark. Dana Allman is used to having more experienced teams. This team has talent, but they haven't gelled yet. To Jake, about those type of things. A couple years ago, if you remember, Baylor went down to Atlantis, and they knocked off Louisville. Well, Oregon in a big drought. They've had only one field goal tonight. That came about 45 seconds into the game. Tristan Clark down there and inside. Clark rolled to the bucket. Kegler, that left hand dribble down the lane, and he has that rejected. Four high major players on a team that was a great high school team in Austin, but doesn't take. Oh, there goes the drought. Kenny Wooten says enough of that. This drought. Watch this comeback, Kenny Wooten. Well, the officials, by the way, were looking for a possible flagrant foul at that last stoppage of play. Did not see it. Here's McCord down low, and Clark able to finish it. Number one high school quarterback and proved to be the case it's a deep three for Mason drained it Eric Musselman staff at Nevada gets the job and he's got a good team Makai Mason with the shot clock winding down hands it off to Clark who stuffs it Mason trying to turn the corner bounces it down low and with the right hand that's Mark Vidal Lots of dribbling, six to shoot. Mason to the corner. There's Kegler's three. Tipped out by Clark. Vital trying to go back up. Feeds it underneath him from a tough angle. And had the wishbone or whatever the heck they run, but it's yeah, that option, hard yep, to, yep. option football, hard to guard. Army took Oklahoma to overtime. Oregon down 14. Again, you got to find ways to get it to the baseline. Or Let's live with that. Sure. Wow. Yeah. That's a big win for Arizona State. It'll be big on their resume. And in fairness, it hasn't been a terrific non-conference. Whoa! Getting hot. Against the uh, Hoop Summit team, the USA Hoop Summit team out in Portland. And uh, I said, who is this guy? And once they told me he was a sophomore, went over a Pac-12 team tonight. Oh, good win for Baylor going into Christmas break. The eggnog will taste pretty good in Waco. Baylor led by as many as 16. That was cut down to two by Oregon, but Baylor wins it by 10, 57-47.